Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for all your support and uh, before we do get started I do want to welcome our four new subscribers guys. Yes, sir. We have four new subscribers uh, We are at 283 now. Yes, we're climbing that mountain. But yes guys uh, Today's video is pretty much gonna be a quick one here on a Chevy uh, Cruze RS. It is a turbo. Let's get it. <clears throat> Got this car in today uh, it is an insurance claim so we're gonna have to do a really well job on it and uh, we've done so many quarter panels and doors that doesn't mean anything to, to us I'm trying to save the customer a little bit of money by saving the door um, obviously you know when you take it to a one of those insurance jobs they want to change everything for example cut your uh, quarter panel put a new quarter panel in change your door put a new door in and out of air it adds up but yeah we do have a lot of a couple little crisp here and there i don't know if that was there already or if that's not a crisp i'm not quite sure but we are going to find out because we're going to look at the other side see what it looks like but yeah uh it did vent it pretty good there and there uh we they did push this way back there so we're gonna take everything off on this side and try to pull it as best as we can um we're gonna have to weld they did open up there so yeah doesn't seem too bad I have a Chris so hopefully with a couple pulls we should be able to get this where it needs to be and um, this door was the one that took the most of the hit sandwiched it 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 made a skinny door now it's supposed to be really I don't know how thick that's supposed to be let's check it out Oh yeah, it sandwiched it really good, so it's supposed to look like this side. It does have a couple little crisps there, so not too bad. Let's see what this side's supposed to look like. Oh, it looks like it was just down there with damage up here. We do have a little indentation right there, what I was talking about, so we're good. Uh, apparently, that's OEM. I guess it's for the door hinge that goes in there, or the door, the hinge is in there. Let's take a look here. Yeah, down here doesn't look that bad either. So yeah, we're pretty much our hit's gonna be right here and pull it that way. It's not too bad. We can we can work with that and door. Eh, the door was mashed in. It's a little thicker, about a finger. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take my measurement tape out and uh, get it aligned and well done so we can line it up just like this side. Oh yeah. All right, well, let's get started. Alrighty guys, so we went ahead and uh, pulled it out as much as we can from right here. We went ahead and uh, cleared it all inside right there. You guys can see it's no longer uh, crisp or anything. I don't, I forgot if I show you guys inside here before starting, but if I didn't, it was really bad. You can remember the door, how the door was with the big old dent. Yes, sir. We pulled it out. Look at that line, straight line. And we also fixed it back over here. Look at that. Sheesh. Remember the finger that used to fit there? Now it fits. Look at that. We can fit a finger. It's no longer sandwiched. Yes, yes. Look at that line too. Shao. Looks like we still got a little bit more work to do right there. But I bet you that's where the hit was. Yep. That's why. So, but yeah. We're getting it done. We're getting it done. This is how over here looks. See that? Still looks kind of ugly. We're working on doing this little uh, line right here. Follow the OEM line before we get to the outer skin. Now that we're done with the inside pulling, the inside skin, now all we gotta do is line everything up, make sure the door's lining up and everything, and then finalize it and start pulling all the little ones. We still gotta pull that way, so this should come out once we pull this right here that way. And yeah, pretty much all we got to do there. And there's the door. Almost there. Sheesh. All righty, guys. So we just put on the welder because we have a mess here. As you guys know, we like to make our messes. Um, yeah, we haven't even started sanding yet. Uh, we are done pulling um, or pushing, whichever you guys want to do. Uh, we went ahead and uh, put some black paint in here for all the metal uh 
bare metal and stuff that we got because we did some welding back here uh that black paint don't let you guys see that much but we did some welding just like we did here make sure everything was good uh we did well right there where the metal was cut we went all the way have that and then we're gonna go ahead and sand it we already got our line coming in right there all the way down we are still needing to pull some here with the dent puller but best part is done guys we have our line yes sir the wrinkles are still there but those are not because of the uh the head i don't know what the hell is going on up there but we are going to pull them out anyways uh, we're going to make it look beautiful just oem we already have it all lined up everything's good let me show you guys here as well there you go we have ourselves that we did need to pull a couple pulls right there as you guys can see we still got a little bit of welding right here um we'll plug that hole up we already plugged this one up right there um so yeah we're just working on it it looks a bit ugly but it is lined up it is where it's supposed to be look at that Sheesh, we're right there where we need to be and as far as it goes for our door here uh we still need to do a little bit of work we just fixed the back of it that's pretty much what we did we still got to fix the front now because i do i did notice there's a curve here on the other side and this one does not have a curve so yes sir almost there almost there all right guys after burn hands and many other harmful stuff now nah, i'm playing with y'all i love this thing uh that one did his job look at this would you look at this come look at this yep we took ourselves those hits that were right there i don't know if you guys remember we had some whale the way whale going on there uh we don't have as much anymore we we're able to get that smooth we were able to shrink the metal back the stretched out down here uh we were able to put that little line all the way down i know it looks like a mess but trust me it's there and um, now we're just going to make it look beautiful and um, start putting the putting. Uh, since we got our line up all nice and neat right there with the door. We pull a door. We went ahead and weld the hole that was on the door. We went ahead and weld the hole that was on the quarter panel. Everything's pulled how it's supposed to. Just doing the little touches with this uh, little needle welder puller. So we can get everything flat and nice. That way we don't have to use that much putting. And um, yeah, it should be good to go. Um, I don't see anything else that we need to do at this point. Look at this. We did took the gas cap off. It's in there. We didn't want to scratch it or anything. We're going to try to get away with our line. Our famous little tape line that we do there. Um, so I'm going to try to get away with it um we'll see how that works out for us and um on the door i think i'm just gonna do the whole door to be honest i don't i don't know i might do the little line thing on the door as well not quite sure but i mean the door has an ending right there on top this one however if we get past that line we got to do the whole quarter panel and then it keeps going all the way to the front so yeah that's why I do that. I'm not trying to do that much painting when it's just that little section there. But sometimes we can get away with it. Sometimes we just got to suck it up and do it all. That's how it is. That's how it is. All right, well, let's see how it turns out after putting. I'll get back with you guys once we lay some putting in here and um, see what it turned out to be. All right, guys. So we are here. We are doing the finishing touches on this panel here as you guys can see it's almost ready for primer we're just filling in the pinholes with some seal skin and um, we had a little couple more body work to do in here not that big of a deal um, just finish putting some putting filler there so we can go ahead and fill all those pinholes and yeah we should be able to go sand and primer look at that Phew, phew, nice and straight now. Ready for its final prime and be able to put everything back together. The door is a little open because I took the hinge off the majabra thing so we can get everything right in there. Everything good. Door shuts and opens as well. 
Um, but yeah, that's why it looks a little off, but it's not. It's just boom, not closer. See, 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 see. Doink, doink. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so it is the next day. We went ahead and put our guide code right there, our little black paint to guide us, make sure there's no high or low spots. We're gonna go ahead and sand it, you know, uh, what we're gonna use, right? We already did this side, we blocked it off and everything, and we did do the guide code as well. Turned out amazing. We are where we need to do. Uh, we need to be. I already went and feather uh, more back of the head so we can go ahead and start doing the primer. Same goes in here. Uh, we went ahead and uh, did the feathering and everything else. It is super sunny today. I love it. It's helping me a lot because it dries everything faster. So, yeah. Less time I got to spend fixing this. But the door looks awesome from this angle. Everything blends in right away. It is not fully shot. We still haven't put that hinge back in. But there it is. It is ready to go. As long as we sand it with the block and none of the black is left, we should be fine. And for safety measures, we are using this guy right here, the Baxter. You know, this Baxter does magical stuff. So yeah, we're using that one just to make sure everything's straight and the panel is where it needs to be and there's no, you know, again, high or low spots. But yeah, I'm gonna pull the car back in here uh, so we can go ahead and hit it with this and the block and we should be good to go. Let's see. Alright guys, so we went ahead and did the sanding. As you guys can see, we're good to go. We just need primer in there. Uh, we already taped everything that we need to tape. We just need to put our, uh, what's it called? Protection. Uh, I use like a sheet of a bag. I don't know what it's called. Wrapping bag, wrapping plastic. I don't know. I protect it with plastic. You guys seen it on previous videos and everything. So. We use that roll of plastic. We gotta put that in there so we can start priming. Um, since I do have a couple little uh, details here, we are gonna be using a new tool. You know me. I go to Harbor Freight, get myself a four ounce adjustable detail spray gun. And this should help us get through those little detailings and stuff, make sure we have a nice well done finish with primer cover and paint and clear yes sir all right guys and we went ahead and put it together here it says uh clean spray gun immediately after every use which i do so that doesn't change anything same plug for my compressor i went ahead and mixed the primer over here just a little bit i did have to do it a little thinner because i noticed our gauge right here is 0 0.6 which means it takes thinner um, primer, so I gotta make it a little bit more thin, which is good now. So it should we should just be able to put it up there with gravity. Right, guys, let me clean this. There you go. Went ahead and did the primer, thick, thick primer. Now, yeah, we still got a little bit of drops right there. Don't worry, wet sandpaper will get that out. But yeah, there you go. It's all ready to go for paint. Look at that. Gee, we went ahead and put our plastic right there. Plastic protector. So windy out here. But yeah. There you go. We just got to wait for this to dry. And then uh, we can start doing the top coat. Top coat, paint, and then uh, clear coat. And we're done. Out of here. Jeez. It's going to look really, really good. Alrighty guys, so we finally throw in the paint coat right there. There you guys have it. Look at that. Ooh, perfecto macho. Yes, sir. We got everything done. Everything is good to go. We just need to throw the clear coat in here. That's pretty much what it is. There you go. Door jam. It's complete as well. Looks beautiful. Uniform, one color. Alright, just clear coat and we're done here. Sheesh, about time, right? Well, we still got to put the tire on and we still got to put this thing back on. So, yeah, we're quite done in here anyway. So, yes, sir. Got to put that rust -oleum up in there. Make sure nothing rust is out or anything like that. Weatherproof it. You already know.
Alrighty guys, so the RS Turbo, yes sir, Echo Boost RS Turbo Chevy Cruze is done. This is the finished product. Look at that. Ooh, paint match. Yes, sir. And we got away with doing the line again. Those body lines on cars help you a lot. Yes, sir. And we just put the gas cap there as well. Look at that. Remember, we had the gas cap off. But yeah. It looks so well done. Look at that. Ooh -wee. We put all the plastic and everything in there already. I don't know if you guys can see it through there. It's a little sunshine sunny out here today which is nice on easter oh yeah it's easter time time to go find some huevos some eggs but yes sir this is gonna be it for this series here on the chevy cruise it is done final product ready to go to its owner so they can enjoy it some more time it's not mine so i'll plug it up when they're not mine i don't care Alrighty then. I mean, it's the other one. When they're not mine, I do care. When they're mine, I don't care. There you go. There you go. Like, oh, there. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. We got more work to do. Sheesh. Yes, sir. This is, will be our next project here. I'm a little camera shy. There's people out here, so I'm not used to videotaping. Well, people are looking at me weird. He. <laughs> hello detective i mean i'm an inspector i'm sorry she's give me that look guys but yes guys i'm here in my backyard now no longer people looking at me so i can be myself again Woo! it's kind of scary i know but yes we're here in the garage you already know what we're doing right yes we got that out too but that's gonna be in a separate video guys um i'm gonna go ahead and cut you short here with this Chevy Cruz. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Um, give it a like, uh, share, subscribe. You know what to do. Uh, and thank you very much for all your support, guys. I really appreciate every single one of you. And I'll see you guys on the next video, which we're going to start. Finally, guys, start our Subaru series series um, here real soon. Uh, but first, we got to get that Volkswagen done. I'll probably do that in the background, guys. I'm not sure. Let me know if you guys, what guys want to see that Volkswagen get fixed. It's just a fender and a bumper. Fender bender. A fender and a bumper. Yeah, it's, it was a fender bender. So, yeah. Let me know if you guys want to see that. If not, I'll go ahead and knock that out real quick and start on our Suvi Fest. It's going to be a long series, guys, because I got a lot I got to do. All right. See you on the next time. Adios.